this video, I'm going to show you the best way to build the Putrescent Cleaver, a unique great axe that can be obtained after defeating the Putrescent Knight. This weapon has a very cool design, a completely unexpected high performance, and is really fun to play. It deals mostly physical slash damage and a minimal part of magic damage. In addition, it has a passive frostbite buildup that sadly doesn't seem to scale with any stat, although the attack power of the weapon will scale C with both strength and arcane, which might feel a little bit disappointing until you realize that your damage is not even close to be bad. This happens cause the base damage of the weapon is already pretty decent, so even with a low scale value like C, the increase of damage we can get from the stat will be surprisingly good. For some reason every weapon that has an innate arcane scaling combined with any other stat will display an extraordinary performance and the Putrescent Cleaver is not deception. The best part of this weapon is its unique skill Spinning Guillotine, an absolutely crazy attack that appears to deal more damage to your own character than to the enemies, but that is actually pretty powerful. It requires a little bit of practice and gain awareness to use it effectively, especially against toughest bosses where the attack windows are smaller. However, it is indeed a great ability capable of dealing tons of damage if it's used with the proper strategy and positioning. The only downsides I can point on this weapon are its short range. You have to be kissing bosses cheeks in order to hit consistently with this thing. The insanely low frostbite buildup that allows you to spend the entire fight using two of these things until your target disappear and frostbite will not be ready to proc yet. And the fact that the skill has a really long and slow ending animations that you have to cancel in time, otherwise you will get stuck there and take some free hits. As I see the things, this weapon is underrated, but I do not consider it one of the best neither. It's a great weapon that with a few tweaks can become a top tier damage dealing tool. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we will be the major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. We are going to be using the Putrescent Cleaver on plus 10 and any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. You can also use any weapon with the Raptor Optimist Tash of War to easily dodge the Radan Slide Explosion attack. We are going to use the Rakshasa's Armor set to increase our damage by a total of 8% if we were the entire set. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander, the Millicent's Prosthesis, the Rodin Windsor Insignia and the Magic Scorpion Charm. If you are missing one of these talismans, you can use the Two-Handed Sword Talisman, the Blade of Mercy or even the Dagger Talisman. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the blood sucking crack tier and the thorny crack tier. As always, if you don't want to use the blood sucking crack tier because you don't like the HP drain effect, you can use the stone barb crack tier to break the stance of your targets a lot easier. With this weapon, we are not going to be dealing only physical damage, but as you can see, the magic part of the putrescence cleaver is so small that it's not worth buffing it with Howl of Shabriri. For that reason, the best body buff is going to be Blood Boil Aromatic, but if you don't like crafting, you can use Flame Grand Me Strength perfectly fine. This weapon consumes a decent amount of stamina, so be sure to craft some pickle torture next to boost your stamina regeneration speed. Another great way to use this build is using an additional Putrescence Cleaver to be able to use the power stance jump attack that in this weapon class are extremely powerful. And to boost the power of this specific movement, we are going to use the Greybeard's Black Wheel Armor replacing the chest part of the Rakshasa's Armor set. This piece of armor will increase the damage of our jump attacks by 10% and it will stack with the Cloth Talisman. This means that with each jump attack we are going to be dealing a significant amount of damage. And if you don't have the Greybeard's Black Wheel Armor, you can use the Raptor's Black Feathers. The effect will be the same, but this one looks a little bit better. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 24 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, 55 on Strength, 25 on Fate, and 65 on Arcane. Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength are going to be our main boss. And as you can see, I have my Scattery Blessing on the level 20, and if you want to deal an insane amount of damage to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. Now I'm going to show you how to buff your character with this build. The process will be the same regardless if you want to use only one weapon or if you want to rock the power stance jump attack. First we are going to use our flask of wondrous physic, then we are going to cast golden vow and immediately after that we are going to eat our pickle torten leg which is indeed completely optional but it is quite useful. Now we are going to use our body buff, in this case I will use blood boil aromatic but flame grand me strength is perfectly fine as well. Now refill your fp, your hp and with that you should be ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Hey, here we go. Oh my god, that is crazy, homie. Oh my god. No. Come on. Oh, I need an extra hit, bro. 
<laughs> Take that one. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. It's amazing. Let's do this. Come on. That is nice. Come on. Come on. Oh, let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. That is good indeed. Nice. Get him. Okay, careful here. Nice, very good, very good. Let's do this. Come on, wish me luck, baby. Come on. Come on, let's do this. Come on. Put her down. Let's go. Nice. Put him down. <laughs> okay, bad boy, get ready. It's over for you. Nice. Nice, get down. Beautiful. And be ready, guys, for the attack. Let's go. Come on. Goodbye. Let's go, baby. We did it just fine. That is very good. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Okay, let's do this, guys. Nice, he's backing up. Very nice. No. Nice, this is very good. Come on, baby. Get him. Give me one more. And give me the follow up after this one. Come on. Let's go, baby. Come on. Clean. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Oh my god, careful there. Come on. Did I won? See how we do it, guys. Just let's wait for this guy to decide himself. Are you ready, my body? Let's go. Nice. Oh, very good. We're going to fight then. Take this. There we go. Nice. Let's go crazy now, guys. Come 
Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Come on. Let's go! I knew it, bro! <laughs>